we're asked to determine f prime of x and f prime of negative two given f of x equals sine of x to the fifth. Notice how f of x is a composite function where the inner function, often referred to as u, is equal to x to the fifth. So we have u is equal to x to the fifth. When applying the chain rule, we'll have to determine u prime or du dx, which is the derivative of x to the fifth with respect to x, which is five x to the fourth. So now we can just think of f of x as the function sine u and differentiate sine u with respect to x. Looking at our derivative formulas, the derivative of a sine u with respect to x is equal to cosine u times u prime, which indicates that f prime of x is equal to cosine u, which is cosine of x to the fifth, times u prime, which is five x to the fourth. Let's rewrite this as f prime of x equals five x to the fourth cosine x to the fifth. And now we want to determine the function value f prime of negative two, and therefore we substitute negative two for x in f prime of x. f prime of negative two is equal to five times the fourth power of negative two times cosine of the fifth power of negative two. And now we'll go to the calculator and get a decimal approximation for this derivative function and value, and we will round to four decimal places. The first thing we want to do is make sure the calculator is in radian mode. Using the Desmos scientific calculator, we toggle between radian and degree mode by clicking here. So in radian mode, we enter five times the fourth power of negative two right arrow times cosine of the fifth power of negative two. Which to four decimal places is 66.7379. So again, we found the derivative function, f prime of x equals five x to the fourth times cosine of x to the fifth. And we also found f prime of negative two is approximately 66.7379. I hope you found this helpful.